Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Weapon Guide for Hunt Showdown. Now, in this one, we'll be taking a look at the Lamat Mark II pistol and everything there is to know about this weapon. But before we do, guys, if you do enjoy these videos and want to see more of them, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button and turn notifications on so you never miss another one of my uploads. And comment down below your thoughts on the Lamat pistol. Without further waffling, let's jump on into the video. Poster boy for the Confederacy, this updated model holds 9 cartridges in its cylinder and is capable of delivering a shotgun blast from its underbarrel. The Lament Mark II is a small weapon taking up only one slot and is unlocked at rank 46, setting you back $9,500 in game. It fires compact and shotgun rounds and features a 25 round per minute fire rate with a 1.3 second cycle time between shots, which obviously is pretty darn good, especially for a pistol anyway. Um, reload speed is pretty slow due to the 9 rounds in its cylinder at 15.8 seconds. However, I do feel with a base damage of 97 and those 9 rounds before reloading, this more than makes up for the slow reload as if you can't kill your target with 9 rounds at that damage, something's uh, really wrong. <laughs> the Lamat has a 80 meter effective range and a bullet velocity of 300 meters a second. Now, if you're curious, the underbarrel shotty is capable of one-shotting players from 5 meters away. After that 5 meters, it becomes pretty inconsistent, so my advice would be to get as close as possible before shooting. And another cool thing is that the shotgun, you can actually still use like all the special ammo types. So if you want that longer range shot, you can just like switch to slugs, which is uh, pretty awesome in my opinion. Moving on now into the weapon and ammo variants that you can use with the Lamat Mark II. So starting us off with the weapon variants in order of unlock, we have the Lamat Carbine and the Lamat Upper Mat. So the Carbine features an extended barrel and stock that transforms this pistol into a full blown rifle, increasing pretty much every stat about the original pistol. The damage is increased to 107 from 97. The cycle time between shots is decreased, meaning obviously it fires faster. Uh, recoil, weapon sway, and bullet spread are all down a considerable amount, making this weapon much more accurate to fire. Not to mention, the effective range is boosted from 80 meters to 141 meters, and the muzzle velocity is also increased to 375. Now, these stats are kind of crazy to think about. Um, to say it's just a modified pistol, but um, yeah. Super crazy. <laughs> Onto the Lamat upper mat though. Uh, this is a much beefier pistol, switching from compact rounds or small rounds to firing long rounds meant for rifles, which naturally increases the pistol's uh, damage. Uh, it gets well, it gets a huge damage buff. Let's say dealing 120 damage per shot. Aside from damage, the only thing that really changes uh, are the muzzle velocity, which is increased to 450 meters a second naturally because it's using rifle rounds, um, and the effective range is increased to 112 meters. It's worth noting that the rate of fire though does go down to 18 rounds from 25 rounds a minute and the vertical recoil is dramatically increased from 6 to 23 which is wild to think about so basically you'll uh, you'll be taking a lot longer to get multiple shots off on a target because you'll be waiting for the gun to return back to its original position because yeah it's uh it's it's like a four times vertical recoil per shot it's kind of crazy now, strap yourselves in because we're going to be talking about the different ammo types you can use with this weapon. But due to it being not only a pistol, but a shotgun as well, means there are a lot of special ammo types. So let's get stuck into this. In order of unlocking game, we have Starshell, Incendiary, Dragon's Breath, FMJ or Full Metal Jacket, Slugs, and finally Poison. As always, I'll quickly go over each of these if you guys don't know what they do. So first up, we have Starshot. Easily the most useless round in game, it fires a flare that will descend slowly, lighting up the surrounding area and ignites everything it touches. So essentially the only way to deal damage with this round is to fire it directly at an enemy in order to set them on fire. Now it only deals one damage on impact and then fire damage does the rest. This shell can't penetrate any cover, suffers from incredibly low damage and can't really do much else. However, I will say it does a really good job of lighting up areas, but at the same time, so the flares, I really don't understand why you'd waste um, a slot in your shotgun for Starshot. It just doesn't really make much sense to me, but 
east of the Rhone. Moving on. Next, we have the incendiary rounds. These bullets contain a small phosphorus charge that ignites and sets flammable targets on fire, which is honestly pretty darn effective. However, not without its flaws. It has no penetration power, lacking the ability to go through metal or wood or any other cover for that. Sorry, any other covers for that matter of fact. Not to mention, gives away your position with a visible tracer when being shot. So keep this in mind on a night map as it lights up the sky when being fired. Moving on, we have Dragon's Breath. This shell shoots out several meter long jet of flame that ignites anything in its way. It's effective up to nine meters, which is lower than the standard buckshot shells and also cannot penetrate any cover your target is behind. However, I think it more than makes up for this with its impressive 142 damage a shot and further burn damage once the target is set on fire, obviously within its uh, effective uh, area range. Yeah. Onto FMJ rounds or full metal jacket, these bullets have a hardened casing which increases the bullet's penetration power allowing it to deal more damage when traveling through objects and it also manages to retain its damage over longer distances. So for instance, the damage fall off of long ammo starts at 40 meters, however if you do decide to use the FMJ rounds that then goes up to 60 meters and then after that damage fall off begins as usual. Um, now all of this sounds great. But FMJ does reduce your overall muzzle velocity, which honestly doesn't really matter unless you're planning on shooting someone from like hundreds of meters away, so don't really worry about it. Now, slugs. These single solid projectile shells can be used in shotguns to increase your effective range and penetration over the standard buckshot rounds. It is also worth noting that using slugs over the standard buckshot shells does lower your overall damage of the shotgun. So keep this in mind. However, I, 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 I really don't get it. Um, how buckshot, which spreads like multiple projectiles, does more damage than a single solid round. But moving on. Lastly, poison rounds. As expected, poisons the target, leaving them vulnerable to attack as the poison stops the target from healing for several seconds it's quite long actually um these rounds suffer from the same effects as the dum dum rounds not being able to penetrate any cover your target is behind and lowers the effective range wow that was a lot of ammo types i'm so glad that's out of the way so we can now discuss some of the pros and cons of the lamat mark ii now i found myself using the carbine the most while well, whilst making these uh this video it's crazy accurate, it's capable of pulling off some really mean flick shots, and I can't tell you how many times that underbarrel shotgun comes in clutch. But, there is one thing that still really frustrates the hell out of me when it comes to all the carbines in game, and it's just the damage fall off um, over distance with compact rounds. At distance, I feel like I'm shooting enemies with a BB gun, uh, because unless it's a headshot, the damage just isn't there like whatsoever. Um, so if you are going to be using the upper mat or the carbine variant of the Lamat, I do recommend that you don't engage in long distance fighting or if you're caught off guard by an enemy sniper or something like that, try to bridge the gap between, uh, between like you, like yourselves, sorry, because this gun is much easier to work with up close and personal. I would also say that if you find yourself wanting to use the upper mat variant, just buy the core weld uppercut instead. Um, it's, it's better in every way and only takes up one weapon slot, not, not two. Plus you can use it with fanning and it's just use the uppercut. <laughs> Other than that, I can't really fault, uh, the Lamat Mark II. It's nine bullet cylinder makes a great combination for the fanning perk as you get to, well, you get to use a few extra bullets when it comes to spanning, spamming an enemy. Sorry. It also has a short cycle time, which is something I always look for when choosing a weapon for my hunter. And, uh, yeah, you should definitely give this weapon a go. Just not the upper mat. <laughs> but anyway, guys, enough messing about. Let's jump into some gameplay and see what this weapon is all about. Let's go. Oh, I can't see it. What? Oh. It doesn't exist for me. I can't even pick it up. <laughs> yeah, what? Yes, I'm just better than you. What do you reckon? Is it a sign or not? Oh, it might be. Do it. I mean, I take it. I okay. take it. Okay. Do you want to take my spectre? You know what? A spectre? Uh, it's on the ground, like inside the anus. I don't have... That's all right. I don't oh damn! Look at the... you. Yeah. All right, guys. It means it means I'm finally gonna pop off, and I'm finally gonna have some good Lamat um video. I better because I have the Lamat pistol and the carbine. And never freaking get it. Oh yeah, please, please, yeah. We. Oh, by the way, this spider here. That's boring. Oh what? 
Lucky I have guns with uh, flipping poison. Oh, it always happens. Do you want to just go run down to the four that it could be for Butcher? Well, yeah, I was about to say, hang on, we can just, just need to enter to make it so we just know it's on the map. Okay. And now we can sod off. And let some other poor sod figure that out. Are you? Okay, where are we running to? Holy crap! So we're going to fort. Yeah. There was shots. The dogs? There was sh uh, shots over at like Golden Acres ish, I reckon. A gold. Oh, yeah. No, my, my boy's already out of stamina. Now they're behind us. What the hell? These are some stealthy boys. Oh? That was hard. Oh my god. Okay, okay this so is... It's wigging us out again. Yeah, it is. Someone just melee'd. Okay. Like over this way, Jordan. Yep, right in front of me. Had a coat. She's over here. Oh, they're over there, sorry. Near the, um, the wheat. Storage thing. Oh, another person over here. There's no way. What the fudge? How the f Thank you, one bullet hit. Oh, I don't know how these bullets are missing, I swear to God. Well done. Oh God, there's a team like right here. Where's right here? Where's right here's like on me? Yeah, I'm coming back. Hold out, hold out. I killed one. Concertina, you got a spit fire with fire. So you, I've killed the crossbow guy. So you've got a levering. And Deep you've fruit. got a girl, yeah. Okay, they're coming behind you. I just cancel reload. It was me. Okay, well done. What? They're behind. Holy crap! What? Change, change, change. Uh. Okay, okay, quick, 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 quick. You got it. What? The clutch is real. Okay, you need to. One. I just pop over to the Lamette and change it first. So I have it ready. Okay, now you can reload. That was pathetic. Oh. I feel like if I had the dead eye scope, I would have hit the headshots. I'm trying to sneak around. Not Lido. Okay. Like... Oh. Okay, coming back. Tell you, I've only got black girl. I don't think they rest. Yeah, she was too far away. And the other guy was in Concertina. I'd fully heal up while well, you got the chance. Thank you, sorry. No, I wasn't good. even paying attention. Sometimes I can't see because I have the opacity yeah, down. Yeah, 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 no, it's fine. I'm here. Right there. They're like. It. it. Nice! Whew. Flip it. Please, You've buddy, for it. the love of God, get up. I told you it was a sign. 
Yeah. Oh my god, I've also that was figured out that, that I can't 5K. aim. Okay. Okay, let's go and uh, kill the spider because uh, I want my health back. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> just go out, just get out of here. Jesus Christ, that was. Uh... That was. That was. So I figured out that uh, no, I cannot use the irons on this to save my life. Yeah, I couldn't. I, th I thought you were always a lot better with the dead eye. Yep. But I was like, nah, I got a, I got a skin for this one. I'll try this one. Freaking dies. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are on the Le Mat Mark II and whether or not you agree with me. Uh, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and turn notifications on so you never miss an upload of mine. And remember, we're live from 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So don't be shy. Come say hello. I don't bite, I promise. And if you're interested, be sure to join our community Discord using the link in the description below. And until next time, guys, happy hunting.